Hello everybody, Chris Bartell here from the Cascade Pacific Council. I'm the marketing director and uh, we'll start here. We'll give everybody just a couple more minutes to roll on in. So uh, stand by because this is going to be great. We're super excited to uh, kick this off, kick off the Advancement Academy here. And uh, we're so, I'm so, so thankful for Dave Perry for, for jumping in here to teach us all the ways, his wisdom. So it's going to be great. I hope you guys uh, are all good there and able to, um, looks like everybody's chatting, which is fantastic. So let's give ourselves two more minutes here. We'll wait for some folks to roll on in. Thanks so much. Alrighty, again, this is Chris Bartell here from the Cascade Pacific Council. I'm the marketing director, but also the incoming scoutmaster of Troop 107 in Northeast Portland. And hope you guys are all doing well and everybody is safe and uh, doing well this, this wild and crazy time that we have going on here. But boy, I tell you, it has been such a, um, wonder, such a wonderful experience to see the just everybody coming together to help out digitally, virtually, uh, coming up with great ideas to to work together and to really inspire our kids to to keep on scouting. It's really really awesome. I'm I'm just really really excited about all the things coming down the pipe. We came up with this advancement academy. It's we've had people from literally all over the world have been interested in this thing that we're doing, and so it's just super super exciting. So you're going to see. So keep an eye out for in your email and on on social media. Uh, we'll do our best to just spread the word because we've we're doing a bunch of a bunch of um, uh, merit badges and advancement and it's just been amazing we're tomorrow we'll be doing uh, we'll be doing coin collecting and personal fitness and uh, we've lined up uh, citizenship in the world we're lining up um, uh, a whole bunch of merit badges next week so once we confirm those we'll let you guys know and and it's been amazing the response has been awesome we have about i'd say on average 150 uh, individual scouts uh, at least on each of these upcoming merit badge um, sessions which is just super super exciting so it's been awesome uh, Dave Perry here has, has stepped in and he's really going to run the show I just wanted to do a, a brief introduction and and because uh, he and his uh, troop have really uh, they test drove this last weekend and so he'll tell you their story and it was so great he sent me a list of all the the action items that they took and and it just seemed to work and so you may see too that uh, if you have any Cub Scouts, uh, feel free to join in and check out our other Advancement Academy options because they're doing some virtual den meetings and the the whole team, the, the field team, your district executives and whatnot, they have all been working together to just get really super creative with creating some really fun virtual den meetings. So that's been really, really fun. Uh, just on another note, we are working on some uh, web pages and content uh, for every single rank, actually, in Cubs and uh, Scouts BSA. So, so we'll keep, keep an eye out for that. We're, um, we're gathering lots of information. Also, if you haven't joined our Facebook groups, um, check that out. You can go to the CPC BSA uh, Facebook page, and you'll see groups there, and join our, we've got a, an Advancement Academy for Cub Scouts and one for Scouts BSA. So feel free to to jump on in there because uh, that's where we'll sort of update and keep everybody updated with the latest sort of news and and uh, latest merit badges we're offering all that kind of thing so it's it's been really really fun all right we'll go to the next slide there and i just wanted to send out a couple of reminders from the cascade pacific council uh, one is that summer camp is still on uh, we are we have actually some availability not a lot but we've got some availability for Cub Camps, just FYI. Uh, lots of Scouts BSA troops are coming. And so 
The plan right now is that camps are still rolling. So we are still moving forward just with some wonderful creativity. And um, you can also, for you uh, Scouts BSA folks, uh, wherever you are, you want to come on over to the Cascade Pacific Council and uh, play on the mountains or play on the beach, by golly, come and join us uh, because it's going to be it's going to be a blast. And uh, we even, for those of you who don't know, the very exciting thing that's new at camp are flushing outhouses, flushing kibos, ladies and gentlemen. Every single one of our camps, uh, by the time we launch for summer, we will have brand new. I have experienced them myself at Meriwether Super Weekend a couple weekends ago. And they are fantastic. So uh, it's been really, really great. So all, all new flushing outhouses. We're also working on some new shower houses. I mean, it's, it's really just fantastic. So you'll, you'll really enjoy it. So just so you know, the Scouts BSA uh, is now open for 2021 summer. So I'm pretty sure it will be virus free by then. So feel free to, to check that out at cpcbsa.org. Also, for those of you who have been doing camp for all fundraiser uh, you can check out some new tools there is a link if you go to actually if you just go to the homepage cpcbsa.org uh, i won't click on there now but there are some really great promotional videos you can download they're super short and sweet they're they're really fun um they actually tease what's going to be coming out for our from a marketing program perspective which is real i'm super excited about the theme is all about grit and that's and that is so uh, apropos for what we're dealing with and working through right now is grit. So I'm so thankful for just getting to be a part of it and uh, and so thankful for all of you who volunteer. I mean, thousands and thousands of you who volunteer and help us out every single day. It's just amazing. Speaking of volunteers, I'm going to hand the ball off here to Dave. He's going he's gonna to run the show from here on out. And so take it away, Dave. Yeah, uh, well, th thank you so much. I, I spoke up and said, hey, we had a great success here in uh, Troop 19, and the council said, amazing. What if you presented to 100 of your best friends around the, the country and on your, uh, your successes and what you guys have been learning and all that? So I'll, my name is David Perry. I'm the Scoutmaster of Troop 19G, which is our girl wing of our scout, master, uh, our scout troop. That's my daughter there on the left. And I am the Assistant Scoutmaster of Troop 19B, uh, which is our, our boy side of the wing. So a little bit of a background. Uh, we had a what we called a merit badge blitz this, uh, this last weekend. And we were intending to have a full meal deal. We had... Um, a police officer coming to give us uh, traffic safety. We had a, a gentleman that's been a long time in our district that was going to help us uh, with scouting heritage. We had it all lined up. It was very exciting. And then this all came down and we canceled it, obviously. Uh, but I felt like, man, we got to figure out how to make scouting happen. And so we made a hard pivot to offering merit badge blitz virtually and had three different sessions. So we had trail to first class, um, scouting heritage and citizenship in the world. Uh, those were three one and a half hour sessions. We had 18 kids come, which is about half our troop. They achieved across those couple of things, 27 different requirements uh, across two ranks and two badges. So we thought, man, that was a great success. And so um, my fellow, uh, B Scoutmaster and I decided we're going to convert our scout meeting into what we call Merit Badge Mondays. And uh, our first Merit Badge Monday, we, we kind of looked around the, uh, the possibilities and we said, gosh, maybe public health might seem like a good idea on our first Merit Badge Monday. And so that's what we did. We had one of our assistant scoutmasters, she's a registered nurse, help us walk through that. We had 20 plus kids show up for that and it went really well. And so I sent that feedback to the council and said, hey, here's how we're doing it. We just happened to have an outing, so we've been able to iterate four times on this. Um, each time my fellow um, uh, program leaders kind of traded uh, best practices and insights, and then we just kept iterating every time. So we're not the geniuses that have it all figured out. We've just iterated four times in the last couple days. Uh, and so we thought we'd pass that along into a, a broader context. So I want to talk about kind of what we've learned over our four iterations, kind of what the situation is, some of the tools, what you can do, how we've advertised and set that up, some of the best practices. And frankly, 
we're still figuring this out too. So I want to even share like what are what we're thinking about, what we're trying to figure out, and really I think as a community try to figure out how to uh, keep learning and keep adjusting and keep pivoting. In my job, I work at Hewlett Packard, right, and I work on uh, kind of startup type ideas. So I'm a big fan of kind of test it out, learn, pivot, adjust, redo, learn, pivot, adjust. And so that's exactly what we're doing here. So the first thing, and, and we've said this right off the bat to our scouts, is this is weird. There's a big elephant in the room. This is weird. <laughs> and, and we've just said, this is weird to the scouts. And we've just call it like we seize it, right? And so we, I feel like this is okay to tell the youth, this is not normal. This is weird. And, but we're going to still figure out how to scout on. And we're trying to figure out ways to, um, to make a program and make things happen for them and give them a fun environment to do that in. And us as program leaders, we're just going to figure it out. We're just going to figure out how to make that happen. And so, you know, at the beginning of the call, kind of ask how they're doing. We're kind of sympathetic to the situation, you know, making sure that everybody's connecting and that we, we still believe that we can drive the aims of scouting and still have fun virtually and just really making the, the best of it, right? And so I think it's okay to just say this is weird because guess what it is? <laughs> So the thing though is video conference, we're, it's actually really great that like video conferencing is super well established. Uh, I, I shared that I work at Hewlett Packard and I use my uh, video conferencing every single day to do my job and talk to people in Barcelona, Spain and Melbourne, Australia and Tel Aviv, Israel, and just trying to get the job done globally. Right. And I actually share this with the youth that, you know, this is a tool that people use all the time to get the job done. And that, you know, it's it, it's a tool that we can use to to do things virtually. Some of the tools, I think there's a lot of tools available. We've been using Zoom. Uh, Zoom um, is very popular in large enterprises. Your company might use it. Um, I know Zoom is actually now a publicly traded company, and they've been doing a lot, if you look at their blog uh, recently, to make this open to uh, schools and churches and, and groups to, to use and figuring out ways to kind of help people out on that. There is a free account that you can do. Um, right now, the free account limits to 40 minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, one thought is like you have a meeting for 40 minutes, then you take a a quick break and then come back with a new link and, and start it right back up. And then you don't have to worry about that 40 minute timeout. Uh, but there is a lot of options uh, and that there is ways to kind of work on that. There's also Google Hangouts. I know that um, the CEO of Google actually made it available that their enterprise Google Hangout tools are available for people to use for school and, and, and things. Um, and then the last one, this might sound silly, but there's a, an app called Discord, which is usually used for gaming, and I guarantee your kids already have it. <laughs> so if you're looking for a tool to use, you could probably say, like, hey, let's get on Discord, and I bet you half your youth, half the troop are on Discord living the dream already, and they're probably wondering why their, their old fuddy-duddy scoutmaster now knows about this, this Discord thing. Other options could be uh, Skype or GoToMeeting or even FaceTime. Uh, um, you might not know in the recent updates on FaceTime, you can actually have a conversation with 32 people on the phone at once. And so um, you can do that as well. I know, for example, my uh, colleague on the B side, our Scoutmaster, actually did a Scoutmaster conference with one of our youth and posted on our Facebook, our Troop Facebook today, page today that that scout achieved the rank of scout. And uh, we all, you know, virtually clapped for him. And uh, obviously his, uh, it was him and his mom and our scout master that did that scout master's conference. So uh, pretty cool. What I've been focusing on is what we can do, right? There's a lot of stuff that maybe we can't do, but what we can do is paying attention to rank, uh, rank and merit badge action verbs, right? And a lot of the requirements say explain, discuss, demonstrate. 
we have been focusing on what we can do and explain and discuss. And I'll get into that later, that we've been combing uh, kind of the merit batch requirements, looking for ones that have a, a higher preponderance of explain and discuss, right? And we've been focusing on those ranks and those requirements that are explain and discuss. And, and driving conversations and driving interaction in that way and not as much focusing right now on show and demonstrate because we're still working on that. So um, one of the tips I had is around how to advertise. We advertise that on our email. Um, we have a email listserv in our troop. And so uh, this was actually what we had on, um, you know, virtual merit badge blitz. If I, you know, I said by now you've read these uh, uh, things are canceling our outing. This is not awesome, <laughs> but uh, you know, it helps us keep us safe. Um, and then I advertise we're going to use Zoom, and we're going to use. Um, here's how you download it. Here's how you test your setup before you do it. And here's the merit badges that we're offering. And then for the first time ever, we actually uh, our troop has a private uh, Facebook page. Uh, and I advertise in our Facebook group. We, we normally don't advertise a lot of our events and outings on that, but uh, we gave it a go and it seemed like it worked. So, you know, kind of widely communicating, here's where you click, here's what you do. But I think the important piece here is, here's where you go download this software and here's how you test it. Because you want your scouts and your youth and your families testing that software before the meeting, right? And so instead of uh, doing, um, spending half your meeting doing IT tech support, right, you're, you're testing in, uh, that in advance. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, kind of how to set up. So we've made a join link for every meeting and we've made it just for that meeting. So th this doesn't make it so scouts can just roin randomly join whenever, uh, but it's for this particular time, for this particular schedule, for this particular moment, uh, here's when to join. We also looked at kind of some of the settings on the conference, because if you've ever been in corporate America, you've probably heard, you know, random person joining and they're not on mute and they're like, well, hey, Bill, blah, 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 and like, hey, Steve, can you go on mute, you know, kind of thing. So I already knew this was going to be a problem with our youth. So I made it so we all joined on mute from the get go so that uh, we weren't having a bunch of conference conversations. The other thing is uh, we've tried to kind of, we feel like 20 is about the right number. Um, one of the things Chris and I were discussing is in Zoom, they actually have a breakout tool, which is pretty cool where you can separate the Zoom conference into different breakout rooms. So you could imagine a pack meeting and then the different dens of groups of 10 or 15 going off into separate sections or a scout BSA meeting and different patrols going out into different sections, uh, being able to do that. Uh, and, and you can actually as the host control which groups are going where, who's going to which groups and you can actually suck them back into the, the main room or uh, send them off, uh, which is pretty cool. So here's a couple of best practices during the call. So like I said before, uh, and these are over our kind of four iterations. We explain the situation right away, right? We talk about the elephant in the room. We're like, hey, this is weird. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a thing, but we're giving it a go. We're giving it a try. And we also explain that it's a tool that use, people use every day and that uh, we talk about that as a kind of a teaching moment that people use this a lot for their job. And uh, this is, is a good um, tool to use to talk about things over distance. Then we talk about etiquette on calls coming on and off mute. And um, I usually make a joke here, right? Like I usually like pretend like I'm eating chips or something like that and forget that I went on mute and the kids think that's hilarious. And, uh, you know, we just talk about coming on and off mute. And then we also have the program adults come into the call. So when we did public health, uh, our assistant scoutmaster that was presenting, we had myself and another scoutmaster as co-host the call. So again, having that too deep leadership, it's important that you have too deep leadership in all these calls. Um, 
I guess one of the pros of having too deep leadership is that usually mom or dad's probably in the kitchen with the, the scout or somewhere else, but you know, ensuring that you have that too deep leadership and that we have those adults promoted as co-hosts so they can help manage the call. They can help uh, call youth and say, hey, did Johnny have a question? Or uh, I see uh, Steve raised his hand. Uh, we can also mute kids because if we're having a discussion uh, you know, just like adults, and I, this is what I explained to, you know, in corporate America, they're going to accidentally come off mute and that's okay. And we talk about that. That's okay. And then my uh, colleague will just, you know, right click and mute them <laughs> kind of thing. Um, another pro, which is probably uh, a little bit amusing, but if you have a scout that's, uh, you know, droning on and on, on his point, you could say, okay, uh, you know, good point click mute and move on to the next person. You can, you can uh, kind of monitor and measure the conversation along the way. Um, we also found, and this was a learning that we had after the first couple meetings, is we, in the settings of Zoom, and I'm imagining this is available for other tools, we uh, restricted the chat to hosts only. Because we were noticing we were doing a, uh, you know, some of the conversation and the scouts are having almost a wholly separate conversation <laughs> over in chat. And so we then quickly ratcheted chat down to just the, the hosts. The other one is we took role at the beginning of the meeting and called out each scout. And that served two purposes. One, to you know, acknowledge that they were there and document that for any rank or requirements that we're trying to track. But two, and very importantly, making sure their mic works. So, you know, hey, can you come off mute, uh, um, Pat, and say, you're here, oh, I'm here, and then go back on mute. And then that also helps them practice coming on mute and off mute uh, and working the, the mute button. Uh, we also explained when we were doing uh, our Merit Badge Blitz and these requirements that we were looking for participation from everybody and that we felt like each scout needed to speak up and contribute to the conversation back to this we we're focusing on explain discuss and that we we felt like that created a, one a good dynamic and good you know for proper advancement right like that we want all scouts participating so if we didn't see a scout participating this is also the benefit of having a co leader host with you and be a co-host is then they could say hey we haven't heard from steve in a while steve uh you know we'd like to hear from you uh, kind of thing. We also then, um, and on all the tools, you can usually make the uh, presenter a, a spotlight or fixed video. So instead of having a, uh, um, uh, a, a Brady Bunch style grid of, of uh, videos, you can right click and make one of the videos, the fixed video, the spotlight video, so everybody can see that. And then also in Zoom, uh, and this is true in other tools, they usually have some sort of capability, some sort of icon that uh, helps uh, um, recognize that they want to kind of come off mute or speak. And so the, the raise the hand feature or something similar to that. And, and actually our scouts started using this pretty extensively uh, instead of, um, uh, when they were coming off mute, they would raise their hand and then one of our program leaders would say, hey, uh, Billy, you know, uh, you, you had something to say. Hey, Steve, you're, you're up, you know, kind of thing. We also, and I know this is uh, probably um, difficult for folks that are in corporate America and are used to a Zoom room. We actually really tried to avoid slides because we were really trying to have a, a conversation. And we were trying also not to make it lecture lecture time, right? And so we wanted to make it more of a discussion going back to that requirements around dis uh, discuss or explain, make it less like a class, more like a guided discussion. And I know that's a little tricky. Some merit badges kind of, you need to show stuff. We actually did share our screen a couple of times when it was appropriate to point out a website or a resource or a tool, uh, but we tried not to have it uh, you know, as a um, lecture class as, as, uh, as we could. We also made sure you know, the scouts uh, took turns with the requirements, making sure everybody speaks up, like I said. And then I think this one, we actually employed in our trail to first class 
um, and didn't employ in some of our other merit bat like citizenship in the world we had mostly younger scouts but I could tell the kids were getting a little squirrely right and a little you know not used to sitting in front of a computer and and so I said we're putting on a two-minute Guardians of the Galaxy dance break and we put on the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack and we I kind of got up from the computer and we just asked everybody to kind of shake their wiggles out right and just uh, you know you know, get up, take a break for a second, and we'll we'll pause uh, for that. I think that's appropriate, depending on your um, depending on your age of your scouts and the the groups that you're doing. Uh, the other uh, thing that we uh, are doing is we are polling our scouts on which badge we want to do next. So, like we said, we we're uh, um, we're trying to do a merit badge Monday every Monday. Uh, and we have made a poll and we've asked the scouts at the end of that call to vote on the next badge. And the idea there is just to make it as youth led as possible. Obviously there's some constraints here around what we can do and not do and what we can make happen and not, not make happen. Um, but that gives them a little bit of say a little bit of vote. Uh, the poll feature is a, a Zoom feature. All the features I'm speaking of, I, I believe are just part of Zoom. Uh, they're not part of the paid account or pre, uh, uh, premium account. I think they're just part of the account. Um, and then the last piece is like back to the elephant in the room and, and kind of it being weird is I, I acknowledge the scouts for how well they did. And, and I, I didn't do this just because actually in, I was pleasantly surprised in all four sessions we've done so far, they've all done pretty darn great. Of course, we've had to mute a couple of kids, you know, as they trailed off or, or we had, they accidentally came off mute, but honestly, in even in a corporate setting, you're going to have people <laughs> trailing off and, and having people randomly coming off mute. So these, these kids didn't do any worse than any uh, corporate professional that's, on Zoom. So, you know, really just, you know, saying good job, uh, folks, you know, this is awesome. Uh, and, and, you know, acknowledging that it's, it's been fun. Um, we, uh, this is how we're keeping track. Um, uh, one of my suggestions was don't have the presenter do it. As I was talking about having a co-leader help kind of manage the uh, mute and unmute and managing the, the conversation. Um, if they're trying to track which requirements they've covered or not covered, uh, that can get tricky as well. Like I said, we just started doing this. I'm, I, I'm certain and I know you can do it in Scoutbook. We haven't yet. We just did it in Google, Google Sheets. So you can see my two kids here on public health, how they, how they did across there. You'll also notice I marked in red. This is a, they have to demonstrate that they can, um, demonstrate that they can, uh, uh, purify water, and that would have been hard to do on Zoom right there in the call. And then this one, you actually had to go visit a uh, wastewater uh, treatment facility or a restaurant and see how they kind of keep it clean. So um, back to the explain and discuss, these are parts of the badge we didn't do, right? Because it's going to be hard to go to a wastewater uh, treatment facility right now. Um, and that this actually helps us uh, uh, mark attendance and which which ones they covered and not covered. Like I said, I think you can do this in Scoutbook as well. Uh, we might look into that ourselves in our troop. Uh, we are just trying to be quick and agile, so we did it in Google Sheets, and I felt like that was okay. Um, these are the badges that we have slated, and and this isn't like an exhaustive list at all. But as as our troop leadership has looked through some of the requirements that are more um discuss explain centric um these seemed like ones we could do uh so i i discussed we did this uh, these two at our virtual merit badge blitz on saturday we did this one on monday public health uh, we thought digital technology or programming could be cool uh, genealogy uh, obviously uh, maybe our scouts could be for their family at, uh, at home, uh, they can't do the ones that are cooking on a camp out or cooking um, on uh, backpacking, emergency prep, American heritage, entrepreneurship. Uh, we're looking at others, we're kind of combing through it. This is our, our first blush, this is what we're having our kids vote on. Um, 
right now. If we can figure out others, we're going to add them to it. This is just the ones that we have right now uh, and that we've, that we've figured out. So I, I think that's about it um, uh, from us. Uh, like I said, we've just been benefited that we had this particular outing this last weekend and then our, our troop meetings on Monday. So uh, we're not any more awesome than anybody else. We just had a chance to practice four times over and thought it would be worth sharing uh, to, to everybody else. Um, the, uh, the council has these two links uh, or three links that uh, Chris uh, was talking about the uh, Advancement Academy for Cub Scouts and here's the group page for that and the Advancement Academy for the Scouts BSA and then the uh, web page that has the whole uh, enchilada for everything. Chris, I just noticed put that in the chat as well for everybody to click on, go sign up for and uh, live the dream on. Um, and so with that, I think uh, we'll just have any questions. I believe uh, we can unmute everybody. This will be super dangerous. So get ready to mute yourself. Uh, and we'll just, uh, if you can employ what we just talked about, the kind of hand raise feature, myself and, and Chris will look for folks that are raising their hand. So I'm gonna hit unmute and get, uh, super undanger. Oh, actually, I'll just unmute people that are raising their hands. So I first see uh, Lily has raised her hand. So Lily, go ahead. I unmuted you. So um, you've been talking about like the merit badges, but like what about if you're state meeting? I, I, I missed the last part. You're a little bit uh, quiet. You said about for the merit badges, but what about troop meeting? For rank? Is that what you said? For meetings at themselves. Oh, for the meetings themselves. Um, actually, did I miss a slide in here? Uh, yeah, I think that, that the fact that you can you can actually use this tool yeah. to to run meetings. That the breakouts is a really interesting tool that we're going to be experimenting with as well tonight. What's happening right now actually is Lewis and Clark is having their roundtable all virtually, uh, at, literally right as we're speaking here, and so I think they're going to try that out as well. Uh, but it is a really neat tool. We're going to test drive it as well when we do these uh, digital, uh, we do these sort of virtual den meetings and whatnot, and, and our troop is going to try these out. So it, it's a pretty neat feature that would work great, I think, for, um, for any kind of unit meeting. And then one of the, the slides I didn't see uh, here, in here, maybe it disappeared for a second, but um, the, um, what we're looking at is... Uh, we're still trying to figure out the dis demonstrate and show amongst our troop leadership. Uh, we, we're thinking, and, and again, this, we're in experimentation mode. We're thinking that uh, maybe we might have the scouts um, take a video or a picture of what they're doing, provide some sort of evidence that our scout masters can look at and um, you know, figure out we haven't shared that with our scouts yet because we're still trying to figure out if that's doable. And then we're also trying to figure out how to not just have um, merit badge Mondays, but provide games for the kids, um, uh, provide opportunities for the kids to just hang out. Um, and um, even better if we could figure out kind of games with a purpose, scouting over video, we don't know what those are. So maybe in, in that Facebook group, if you guys wanted to share like uh, any ideas on games with a purpose there, but I think you could absolutely do it from uni meetings and you could employ that breakout room thing. You could employ uh, a variety of things there. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go to Kevin Hall. Okay, a uh, couple of questions. Uh, yeah. First, uh, regarding the breakouts, um, looks like a really great feature and talking about experimenting with it. I was wondering if you'd be willing to maybe have like a uh, practice meeting where us as scoutmasters or SPLs and ASPLs could come in and join it maybe like on Sunday night, something like that where we could experiment with the breakouts, just see how things are going to kind of get a feel for that. You know what we could do um, at the end of this call, because uh, I haven't tried it much myself, I'll hit the breakout room and I'll break us all out and then I'll bring us all back. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just practice right now on it. <laughs> see how it works. All right. Uh, after, we'll do it right at the end. Okay. Um, next uh, thing you're talking about, merit badges. 
I'm going to be doing for my troop a photography merit badge next uh, next week, and I thought that that would be a good thing to add to your your list of merit badges yeah. too. Cause yeah. Because kids can go out and you know uh, take photos outside their home and stuff like that. So. Totally agree, and I think that's back to oh, what my fellow scoutmasters and I were trying to figure out of kind of that demonstrate and show uh, providing some sort of evidence. Well, obviously they could email you and they're, you know, adding their parent for two deep leadership, um, you know, their photo journey <laughs> kind of thing. So yeah, for sure. And lastly, uh, just a warning. Uh, we were, I was looking into Zoom and uh, Discord and Google Hangouts as well um, for, for my troop. And the one thing I got caught up on um, in trying to get our youth uh, signed up is both discord and google hangouts have an age limit of 13 so the younger scouts under that aren't 13 or that don't have their parents there to help them you know mm -hmm. sign in uh won't be able to participate um so we might be stuck with something like zoom yep, anyway, yep. that's all thank you yep uh we'll go to joanna i unmuted you joanna hi um so when your kids go into the breakout rooms, yeah, uh, does is there too deep leadership in each room, or overseeing the 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 whole the whole group without being in each room? I mean, I would treat it kind of like your troop meeting, but virtually. So, like if your patrols go off and do their own patrol meeting in their uh, own patrol rooms, um, then they could probably be all youth on youth amongst youth um and then but if you have a leader in that room then you would need too deep right so kind of anywhere uh scouts are present and a leader's present you need too deep so if it uh it you know if you're if you're doing breakouts and it's just youth in there amongst themselves then that's that um but if okay so yeah. i know i know a host can can visit different breakout rooms can co-hosts do that as well that you could have two adults go into the breakout rooms i have no idea we'll try like i said we'll try <laughs> it at the end of this meeting I, i've never tried the breakout feature chris and i were just talking about it yesterday so we will conduct a lean experiment test here at the end of the call and we'll just see what happens we we will know shortly thank you <laughs> we will know shortly all right uh, i'm gonna go to sean go ahead sean hi david how are you good um I also work for a tech company, and I also have had an opportunity to use Zoom quite a bit professionally. Um, I found a resource, I think actually that Chris shared with me uh, before this meeting started, and did a little bit of a dive into the breakout room. So I'll definitely be sticking around to see how that works afterwards. Um, one thing that you may want to consider, I believe, when we get to the point where we're playing with that is that as host, you're going to be the one deciding who goes into which breakout room. So, for example, yeah. if you're breaking it up for patrol meetings or in the context of a roundtable, if you were breaking it out to where the Cubs and the troops and the crews all had their own, um, then you would be deciding who goes where. Uh, there's an auto sort feature for that, but that's just going to grab people based on load balancing. It's not going to put the right people in the right place. Right. So in the case that you're going to be using breakout rooms if you don't already know which group everybody belongs to it might be helpful to ask them to add that to their nicknames as they join the meetings that's a great point uh, that actually also brings me up to an interesting point because a lot of youth are used to like playing online games and uh i think one youth this weekend came in as like septic tank is their name and during the meeting as another youth was or uh, leader was presenting I was right clicking and renaming them to please use your real name and so we had please lose use your real name one two three four five and then eventually we had all their <laughs> real names kind of thing but that's one thing that uh, the youth might not actually just type their names David Perry as they're joining they might use a screen name or something that they're more used to doing online so sure and fortunately as host you're going to have a lot of control over your attendees so there's a lot of potential to keep them in order, especially if you have a larger 100%. group and you have some co-hosts to help run around and chase that stuff down. You can pin focus of the video to one particular speaker so that even if other people are making noise or otherwise being distracting, you can keep the focus where it needs to be. So Zoom has a lot of features that will help to wrangle them in that fashion. Um, and then just briefly to touch on 
Uh, one other item with regard to breakout rooms, um, by all means, consult your local council professionals. But my understanding of youth protection rules is um, you need to have two deep leadership in a meeting. But when it comes to um, either individual small groups, it's really down to no one on one contact. So even exactly. if you only have one adult in that breakout room, as long as it's not one adult and one scout, you're good to go. If you've got one adult and three scouts, that's fine. If you've got two adults and one scout, that's okay. So as long as there's no one on one contact, then we should be okay by the YPT rules from BSA. Yeah. All right. Looks like uh, Kevin has. Kevin, you had another comment? Or just didn't take your hand down? No, you didn't take my hand down. Oh, okay. Does anybody else got any other uh, questions or anything? I can also, if you don't know how to do the hand up thing, you could uh, um, you can put it in chat too. So it looks like Joanna has another question. Go ahead, Joanna. I do. Have you run into any scouts that do not have access? We have not yet, no. I, well, I should say I don't know because we didn't have, in the four times we've tried, uh, we have about 40 youth in our in our program. We had about 20 youth join, but we've made it 100% um, optional to join because we recognize that there's other things going on. Uh, and I didn't get anybody emailing me to say there's no way I can join, uh, but I, I can't say for sure either because we didn't have 100% people join. So I, I, I don't know. Okay, and are you you're doing this during your regular weekly meeting times? Yeah, so we did well during our supposed outing on Saturday. <laughs> uh, we did it, and then on Monday night during our meeting, our regular meeting time. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Christy, you had a question. I unmuted you. My son had gotten into Discord a couple years before he should have, and he got involved in some inappropriate. Um, anime things that were going on. So do make sure that the kids are aware of what's appropriate and especially scout appropriate. So he's, I've removed him from discord personally, but uh, even though he's gained a couple years, I keep a close eye on him. Sure. Um, the, yeah, I would definitely say on, um, on this is like, uh, I've also seen that this is an awesome op open awesome opportunity to earn your cyber chip right and making Absolutely. sure it, which then is you know would help reinforce all those good things so uh this is you know maybe a good time for that so all right um uh, let's see and on that note i would just say that the nice thing about something like zoom it, it really does give you full control and and that's really really nice in terms of controlling uh, just really anything in the situation. You can even, you can upload files, you can share files, you can hand screens over to other people. It's, it's very, uh, very, very functional. And there's a reason it's become popular. And uh, in my old, uh, in my old days before working uh, for the scouts, uh, which I started in August, so it hasn't been that long. Um, I, I was in the agency and ad agency world and had um, clients and whatnot. And we just really, we're so pleased with Zoom. It was finally something that actually worked in terms of something not crashing. Uh, David and I were talking about this earlier. It's, it just seems to work and I've been super, super pleased with it. And that's why we chose it for the council. It also was less expensive than some of the other, the go-to meetings and things like that. So just as an, as an FYI, it, it works really, really well and has really all the functionality of the other, the other programs. All right, I'm gonna, uh, Kevin Sturmer has a question, my fellow yeah. Wood Badge friend. <clears throat> Yeah, um, more of a, a helpful hint, hint Yeah, is uh, when you're compiling, having people send in photos or their, uh, of the project or whatever they've worked on for a specific merit badge, along with a notation, you can go to and download Genius Scam. It's applicable to either any of the, um, both uh, uh, Apple and um, Android. It's a free app. You can make single page or multi page PDFs really quickly with it, attach them. Name them what you want and email them straight out. It's the easy way to keep track of them. That way you don't get bombarded with a whole bunch of uh, anonymously named photos from the scouts you try and keep track of. Right. Thanks. Let's see, we had a question. Uh, Cliff, I'm going to unmute you. Go ahead, Cliff. I feel like I'm a radio talk host here. You're on the air, Cliff. Uh, 
I've done that before, so <laughs> I know your feeling. Um, it's just more a comment in terms of the uh, internet access. I'm out in Western Washington County in Oregon, and uh, the 12 scouts that we have, I know at least three of them do not have reliable internet service. Gotcha. I think you could do even two, like, um, then you could almost do things potentially over email or, or something that, uh, you know, a little slower, le a little less interaction. Um, but um, there's probably some options. Um, this does have a call in feature, though, all the time as well. So. Oh, that's a great point, Chris. Yeah. Um, for for uh, um, Zoom, there is actually a, cell, a telephone call in with a pin code. So if you didn't have internet, you could put in the call in meeting information. Um, hey, dial into this phone number. So uh, I'm going to go with uh, Jeremy. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, David. Um, Hi. I was, I was messing around with Zoom a little bit. We use Teams at our work. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, it, it seemed like it had two settings at 30 minutes and 45 minutes for the meeting time. Um, do you know how that works if it's cutting you well, off at 40 minutes? I am not. My understanding of the free version of Zoom, it'll, it'll cut you off at 40 minutes. Uh, one thing Chris and I discussed at the council is maybe at like 35 minutes, you take a break. And then you say, join this link, you know, join this other link and just fire it back up. You know, you like close it all down. Let's take a five minute break, fire it back up kind of thing. Um, I also know that Zoom has been fairly fluid in this situation. So I wouldn't be shocked in the least in the, if in the next couple of days, they just started relaxing 40 minute rules kind of thing. So I, I, I would keep watching the blog on Zoom and see what happens because I, I wouldn't be shocked in the fluidity, fluidity of how things are changing. So they did mention in the chat that they have, they have, um, they have expanded that. So yeah, that, it'll be interesting to see if they do. It makes absolute sense to reel people in while they can. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to go to uh, Pat Anderson. Hey, thanks, Dave. Uh, another thing uh, that that we've been doing is having, uh, in addition to like, here's how to get started on Zoom and test it out, is also of the merit badge that we're working on here, the requirements that we're going to go through. So go through, make sure you've done your homework ahead of time. We will be yeah. discussing. Um, there's always the option, I mean, it's the internet, so you could kind of Google it on the fly, but we would prefer that the scouts be ready to discuss before the call. Yeah, actually, that's one joke. Uh, so Pat's my uh, fellow scoutmaster over on the B side. One thing we've we've kind of given the kids a little bit of a, a free pass to on like, hey, we're doing this discuss explain. It turns out you're sitting in front of a computer. If you don't know the answer, maybe fire up Google and <laughs> participate in the conversation kind of thing. It's a little bit different than being on a camp out right and talking about stuff. So um, I'm gonna go with uh, Russ. Go ahead, hey, I was unmuted. That's hard to do. Usually yeah. it's harder to mute me. Um, <laughs> thanks. No problem. I'll, two things, uh, three things. First, uh, this is a great demonstration. Thanks for putting it on. Um, and thanks for C to CPC for hosting it. Um, uh, the comment was I got on Zoom yesterday for the first time to try to do it with some coworkers. We usually use um, GroupWise at the office, which were, or group go to meeting at the office which works great, uh, but that's a spendier proposition for most people. My experience on Zoom yesterday was that I reached the end of 40 minutes and it said, gee, we'd like to give you another 40 minutes. What do you think about that? It's like, click yes, thank you very much. And then when I got off, it asked me to, it told me to give me an extra, extra 40 minutes on top of the initial 40 minutes on this free program if I scheduled something right then and there. So it is doing something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my question, that was information for people. My question is, um, I had heard then afterward that afterward that Zoom was crashing all over the country. I don't know whether that was accurate, whether it was temporary, uh, but tonight it seems to be working fantastic. So um, Yeah, I, I use Zoom extensively for my job around with client, customer, uh, employees and customers around the globe, and it's rock solid. Like, I haven't had any issue even through all this mess, so... 
And uh, other than the 40 minute limitation, do you know of any real differences in the, in the, uh, the, the, the features that you get between uh, the Zoom that you get for free and the Zoom that you pay for? I think the Zoom website does have a like kind of um, feature list. I'm not as familiar with the differences, but if you go to the Zoom and like click on pricing, they'll kind of detail out the, the differences uh, and what's available, not available. But I, again, I think Zoom is actually being a good um, corporate citizen and citizen of the globe and being pretty uh, fluid about this situation. But just yep. like you were sharing, the, right, that things are kind of <laughs> being relaxed. Kind of thing. Yep. And for those that aren't familiar with this, this is their first time getting on something like this. It's really only the host if there's going to have a paid paid obligation. It's only the host that ends up having to have the paid obligation. Correct. Yeah. So everybody else, all the scouts, they can just join in and it's really the host. So if the troop or the crew or whatever wants to get, wants to pay for it, the extra, the extra enhanced version, um, then everybody else comes on board for free. And that's all I've got. Thanks very much. Thank you. All it's right, basically uh, 15, 15 bucks a month and it does allow you to have the, the longer meetings and it even has a meeting duration of limit of 24 hours. So you could pretty much take it on a camp out. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Zoom camp out for 24 hours straight. So, all right, I'm going to go to uh, Mike King. Go ahead, Mike. Well, I'll tell you what, the big question, somebody had mentioned it earlier. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, good. <laughs> I couldn't tell. But anyway, uh, we got a lot, we have some of ours, that they're e economically stressed, and so they might not have internet. Is this uh, capable of recording the video? And like we have a session and sending it out to somebody by email. Hundred percent on my Facebook. Hundred percent. You can record the material and send it out. The other thing we shared earlier is Zoom does have a call in uh, capability. So when you're scheduling a meeting, it will give you a US based number. And actually if you are uh, uh, international, it will give you numbers for Spain or Germany or wherever. Uh, but it, a U.S. number with a, a a code that will get you to join. So if the, if you have scouts that are not um, on the internet, but then have some sort of telephony, uh, they could dial into that call and then just participate via phone. Oh, great! Great to yeah. hear. Yeah. Thank you very much. You bet. Great. Sir. Oh, sorry, I might have cut you off earlier. <laughs> Thanks. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go Russ Garrett. That was me. Yeah. Uh, you already got me. Okay. But thanks. Awesome. All good. Uh, let's see. Um, if, you've, if you already had your question, maybe lower your hand. I have a couple people that have raised their hand that haven't lowered kind of thing. I think you can hit the button to hit lower. Uh, I'll figure it out there, lower. Uh, Joanna, did you have another question? I do, thank you. Um, something I had forgotten before, uh, there is an app for phones. So these kids might not have computers per se, but they might have phones. 100%. Um, so, so there's a Zoom app for the phone, and there is that dial-in capability for regular telephones. Um, again, I'm not sure if the recording if the recording function is for the fancier versions, but I'm sure somebody can look that up. But I do it know looks that like in the chat somebody said the recording is a pro feature. Um, it seems like from what they're okay. googling, yeah. Right, but they, they can at least dial in. Everybody has access to at least a phone. Um, so yep. what are you requiring uh, everyone to do their cyber chip if they are participating without a parent? We, uh, so our troop, right, you have to do kind of the cyber chip for scout rank and, and star, right, and, or redo it with star. So all of our scouts 
by doing their rank have the cyber chip for after the scout rank and then kind of recharge that after star right. so we have we kind have of by couple... default yes <laughs> I should say. yeah right but we have a couple who haven't done that and we have three brand new scouts who haven't even been to an actual meeting mm -hmm. or had a chance mm -hmm. to do that um or us to have a chance to find out if they still have their um you know cub scout uh cyber chip yeah i would recommend in that situation to send an email of saying, hey, here's this requirement that you need to do with your folks. And these are the, the, the pieces and parts of that, right? The, the, mm -hmm. um, the abuse and, and uh, the, the last requirement on the, scout rank that en encapsulates yeah, all the, that. I would just the, say, the, hey, you need to family, do that. Yeah. The, the family piece then, but then they can't earn it unless they do an activity uh, for the group. Yeah, what I would suggest is maybe then have them demonstrate in some way, like do it and then like take a photo of that or a video of that and share to okay. to the group. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you bet. All right, I'm gonna go to Doxy. Go ahead, uh, Doxy. Hi there. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me. Uh, what did you do for a flag uh, ceremony? You know, we talked about that and we, this particular Monday, we because we didn't, we purposely did not call it our scout meeting. We called it Merit Badge Mondays, and so we did not do our traditional uh, opening of a, a flag ceremony and a, a scout oath and law. Um, we just didn't in the last four. Uh, what what you could do, what we've done in the past, is we've actually had one kid kind of be the flag with their scout uniform <laughs> kind of thing and uh you know they 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 have their flag on their shirt and you could do that i will tell you we do a little bit of a a closing activity and um there was not the plan to do that and we ended up doing that because that's kind of how we build togetherness and community in our troop and actually it was pretty um special right like because we do a thing where we hold hands and uh do this saying and so what we did is just like hold hands <laughs> on the other end of the camera right like we kind of virtually held hands kind of thing so we we did not do the pledge of allegiance at the beginning of the flag ceremony but i i, I think you could figure out a way to do it for sure thanks uh dorothy Oh, um, oh. Um, I was just wondering, because I came in here because you were talking about the merit badge and how to conduct it. Were you just talking about the Zoom, how to do Zoom meetings? Is that, I mean, because I kind of came in late. I'm so sorry about that. Um, it was just like how to conduct it or what other issues were you kind of talking about also? So I tried to capture that in the deck and the best practices uh, of deck, what, worked, what, do you mean by what worked well and didn't work well. Uh, and th and this is, this session is definitely being recorded. So if you came in a little later, you can. Um, yeah, I saw that. Just yeah. Where are you going to put that at? Where Where are you going to be posting that? Chris, where are we going to post that at? Let me I gotta unmute myself. Yep. Yes, we'll actually uh, post it on the CPC website and most likely on the YouTube as well on our YouTube site account. There you go. Um, Kevin, do you have another question? It was more of a comment. Um, yeah. So uh, I just want to let everybody know uh, of a really cool event that's coming up at the beginning of our first weekend of April. It's the Jamboree on the internet. It's uh, put on by the World Scout Organization um, mm -hmm. or, or World Scout Movement. Uh, so uh, units will be able to connect with units elsewhere in the world, but they've uh, put together this special session uh, due to you know, coronavirus affecting everybody around the world. Um, so anyway, I thought that would be a cool thing for my unit and um, I'd love to see other units there as well, uh, representing the US. All right, so thank you. That is a great plug, thanks. Um, I think we're about out of time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a few of us co-hosts uh, for the meeting, because I'm going to try it. We're going to experiment it up and see how this break room 
breakout room. So I'm going to bring everybody to a breakout room, maybe all chitter chat it up for 30 seconds, and then we're going to come back. So I'm going to make uh, Pat Anderson a co-host, uh, my fellow uh, Scoutmaster, and I'm going to make Jenny Hickey a uh, uh, Somebody's probably drawing there for everybody. <laughs> um, where's Jenny? There, I'm gonna make Jenny a co-host. Okay, so we got four co-hosts. I'm gonna hit breakout room and we're gonna do automatically split people into four rooms. So 16 of us should all show up in four different rooms right now. I just figured out I have to unmute everybody. <laughs> so we're all unmuted. I'm trying to figure out where the co host went. Okay, we are coming. I'm the one who's like, I understand that. We ban them to their room. I want to play. I have not been able to forever. What? Eleven hours a day is like the thing. I've already tried. Oh. Okay. You thinking that? So I, it looks like people are coming back from this breakout room. So back. Uh, I think I got everybody back. I'm not sure what it did to our co-hosts. Um, did you, might, you have me and Pat set up as co-hosts? I hit co-host before I hit br breakout, yeah. Okay, because we were in the same room together. Well, then there's a learning. <laughs> That's what <laughs> happened. Cause I hit, I hit random, uh, cause you can just randomly break people out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, um, yeah. So you, by the way, you guys can mute and unmute as host now, but, um, yeah. so it looks like, uh, everybody broke out. I don't know. Uh, I guess, um, Pat was your breakout room all unmuted or were, did they, were they still it, all muted? It seemed like it was unmuted. Uh, I think everyone got to unmute themselves. Okay. What it felt like. So what, what I saw as the host has a group learning there for a second. We all hit breakout. I was able to um, automatically just send people to X number of rooms. I could also assign people rooms, but I just automatically did it. It looked like the co-hosts also got randomly assigned to their own groups, um, but I think the hosts can move between groups. And then I hit close, I could broadcast a message to the entire group. And I'm assuming everybody saw that, like, we're coming back. And then I hit close and it did a 60 second countdown. So it might work in a pack meeting or in a uh, um, troop meeting. Hey, we're going to everybody break out by patrol. I'll go do your thing. Uh, to the point that was made earlier, you might assign patrols and have people put in their patrol as their their name, uh, and then uh, the co-host can jump from room to room to room, uh, but then the other good feature it looked like is we can zip everybody back to, um, to that, and we give them a little bit of a, you know, 60 seconds to finish it up. So we're learning on top of the learning call, which is all what it's part of, so. Uh, Dave, you have a couple more hands raised. Robert, Lily. Okay, let me do Robert here. Go ahead, Robert. Yeah, my, uh, coming back from the breakout, my screen's frozen. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. 
Excellent. So uh, the breakout function, um, I'm glad you did that. Thank you. And yeah. uh, I was just going to kind of uh, share my experience briefly. So then uh, it offered the tab, click on the tab, popped into a room. Uh, it seemed like others were slowly kind of populating it, probably Filter based on in. what they yeah, yeah, press the tab, I would, I would assume, the accepting the, the link. And then uh, certainly uh, everybody was unmuted. Uh, and it had exactly what you referred to about uh, new people to the call where some folks are, you know, tapping something. They're like, oh, wait, you can hear me. Uh, so I don't know if there's a function to, as the co-host entering that room, uh, mute everybody, or if the co-host has some ability to gather a group and do a breakout. I don't know if that option was available to you and it just seemed of interest. And of course, I was going to take my hand down, but my screen's frozen. So sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I don't it. think I can do the mute or unmute thing um, on that. So yeah, it might just be worth some experimentation there, but thanks. Thank you. You're welcome to mute me. <laughs> uh, Lily, you had one last question. So I just wanted to note that um, since this was a little bit difficult for me to get into like actually hear you, I just wanted to note that we could also use other like platforms like video call platforms. So absolutely, hundred percent. That was all. Thanks. Okay, I think that's all the questions. Thank you guys so much for attending. And like I said, it's all a learning experience. As I said earlier, this is totally weird. And we're just embracing the weird and uh, scouting on regardless. <laughs> well, I'd just like to thank Dave for, for doing this. I mean, that was fantastic and so, so helpful. I mean, we had tons of people on here and I'm going to put my email address here in the, in the, in the chat, but it is chris.bartell at scouting.org. So if you folks have any ideas, needs, you know, boy, we really want to, uh, we really want to share all of our, what everybody's learning. This is, it's kind of, a, it's a wild time. And I'm going to put back in there in the chat one more time here, just links to the, the Facebook pages, as well as our, uh, as our Advancement Academy uh, URL. So we're going to keep that up as much as possible and fresh. And, and um, uh, we'll, we're really, boy, we've had some really interesting ideas in terms of the Advancement Academy, in terms of creating some courses even before before summer camp so the kids can, the scouts can finish up some of those achievements before they, those requirements before they even go to camp. Cause a lot of kids, I know in our troop, right? They come back with some partials and I'm realizing now, oh yeah, we still need to finish those up from summer camp. So <laughs> we're gonna try and, uh, and try and get that done beforehand. What a concept. So anyway, uh, and speaking of which, uh, from a merit badge perspective, we're, we are, we would love to have some additional help on, from merit badge counselors. So if you are a merit badge counselor, please, please toss me an email. And we, we have, it's been amazing. We are, like I said before, at the very beginning, we've had hundreds and hundreds of people who are interested in doing merit badges uh, for their kids or their the scouts are, are signing up. And I mean, it's, it's really, really been amazing. So if you're a counselor, uh, that would be, fan we'd love your help, especially when it comes to reviewing all of these, all of these workbooks we're going to be getting. So, uh, so anyway, that would be super awesome. Some of the ones that we're looking at too is uh, we're doing some uh, coin collecting and personal fitness tomorrow. We are working on a sustainability, emergency preparedness, family life, um, uh, personal fitness, like I mentioned, and a whole pile of them. So uh, even the ones that, that Dave was mentioning too. So not just us, but they're such great. You can even use us as guinea pigs to to uh, see how it goes and and so feel free to join in and chime in and let us know what you think because there's just so so many opportunities I think for rank advancement that's not just for Scouts BSA but the but the Cub Scouts too and and I really encourage you Jenny Hickey who was on this call she has done an amazing absolutely amazing job of really working on these virtual den meetings and they're having fun they did this amazing job with Cyberchip uh, last on, on Wednesday and and so anyway, so tune in on those. They're just really, really great or share them because we don't want people to feel alone during this time. And, and, uh, cause it is, it's just unique, but there are just such opportunities in terms of what, as we all know that scouting has to offer to get kids outside, to get kids fit and doing physical things and to get kids learning. And so it's so unique and it's such an opportunity, I think 
for all of us to even just spread the word. If, if kids aren't scouts and they want to check it out and see the things that we're, we're doing, I think the parents, <laughs> we've only been in this for a few days and give another week you know everybody's going to be climbing up the walls so it's just such a wonderful time for us to to share and show you know how awesome a program we have here and the opportunities that we have to to get together and scout um, so all that is say uh, thanks so much Dave for just doing this I'm just so appreciative and you've been fantastic thank you all for for joining in and the questions you've had have been fantastic. This will all be recorded. Uh, we will post that on the Advancement uh, Academy page as well. And so feel free to share it because tonight we had Lewis and Clark had their round table meeting, like I mentioned. And so if you know anybody there that feel free to send this along to them. And again, if you have any questions or you have ideas or thoughts, please email me and uh, let, let us know because we, we are all ears and we want to help people uh, just keep scouting. So. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for, for joining in. A fantastic group, and, and I just can't thank you enough. This has been awesome. Thanks so much, Dave, and you guys all have a fantastic, fantastic night.